Hey everyone and welcome back to CWL Builds. I'm Caleb and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these gauntlets. I'm using these for my Red Hood costume, but you can use them for any costume or any accessory that you'd like. Now there will be a pattern in the link in the description, so go check that out and you can build along with me. So I'll be using SKS HD foam, which is a 6mm foam. And if you don't have access to this, that's totally fine. Just normal stuff from the craft store works just as well. This is just a bit higher quality. This is my pattern. If you want it, it's available on my Etsy store for very cheap. And you can find the link in the description below. Now these inner lines I'm just scoring with a very light touch with my knife and then I'll heat it up with a heat gun and you'll see those details come out. I do cut the fin holes all the way through because later we'll be making fins that are going to fit through those spaces. So as you can see, heating up with a heat gun opens those lines I made and just adds a little bit of detail. And this is what happens when you hold the heat gun in one place for too long. This was for educational purposes only. It totally wasn't that I was distracted with my dog. I'll be making the fins out of this cell cast acrylic, but really any hard plastic sheeting will work. This one is three millimeters, but really anything between two and four millimeters works great. So I trace out my pattern and I'll be cutting out six different fins with the bases. In my previous video, I cut out one and then made a mold of it. But in this case, I just made all six because I didn't have molding material on me. After rounding over the edges, I make some scores where the fin is going to be attached to the base using super glue, and this is just so that the super glue has something to grab onto. Now this part isn't necessary, but basically what I'm doing here is I'm countersinking those bases 
so that they sit flush against the bottom of the foam. And I'll be using this piece of aluminum tape just to make sure that those fins aren't going anywhere and it also just cleans it up a bit. And now we start the process of heat forming it into the shape that will fit around our arm. And to keep it closed around our arms, I'm going to be making these straps out of this one inch webbing and some industrial Velcro. And to attach all the Velcro and the strapping, I'll be using this black PDR glue, which is a dent removal glue that they use in automotive repair. And if you don't have access to this, or you don't want to buy this glue. If you just have normal hot glue, as long as it's really hot when you put it on, that should work just as well. Hey everyone, and thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you had a good time. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, put it on the comments section. I'll try to get back to you guys. If you enjoyed it, consider dropping a like, consider subscribing. I have other videos on my channel that if you like this one, I'm sure you'll like those as well. Remember to check out that pattern that I'll put down in the description if you want to build one yourself. It's a really easy pattern to follow. Again, thank you so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.